A deadly smallpox epidemic took both his parents and half the Catawba tribe. South Carolina, 1779. The Battle of Stono Ferry. As British forces await the U.S. charge, from the trees emerges the 3rd South Carolina Regiment and an unlikely foe, Catawba Indian Peter Harris. Born in 1756, Harris was just three years old when a deadly smallpox epidemic took both his parents and half the Catawba tribe. Now an orphan, Harris was taken in by a friend of the Catawba tribe, European farmer Thomas Spratt, who believed that Americans should be free to govern themselves. And when Harris came of age, he enlisted in the fight for freedom from British rule. He wasn't alone. Throughout the American Revolution, a handful of Native American tribes allied themselves with the Patriots. The Catawba were enemies of the Cherokee, who were allied with the British. After decades of continuous warfare, the Catawba hoped an American victory would disrupt Cherokee dominance in the region. At the Battle of Stono Ferry, in an intense firefight between British and American forces, Harris was wounded. But a little shrapnel couldn't halt his revolutionary zeal, and he went on to fight bravely at the battles of Rocky Mount, Hanging Rock, and Blackstock's Farm. With the war won and the sun rising on the new United States, Harris was rewarded for his service with 200 acres of prime Chester County land. But like many veterans of the revolution, he spent the rest of his life petitioning the government for the pension that was rightfully his. He finally received it just one year before he died in 1823. Harris's story shows us that the American Revolution encompassed many different peoples and civilizations and forced tribes and colonists to choose sides. Now you know the story of one of the surprising and unsung heroes of the Revolutionary War. Why not subscribe to uncover more amazing stories about our nation's history?